Okay, so we're we're now beginning our recording again for PSO. Barney and Angel saying, in Popper God, you mentioned that it wasn't quite best in slot, but it is good. Oh, from the Popper God. Okay. Yeah, there, yeah, there's some pretty good items in there that can tide you over for ultimate. So if you're doing a lot of self-found items, I hope that guide helps a lot. In particular, since we'll be doing one where if you just want to skip to trading and stuff, probably after the event. To kind of acclimate people to ultimate, or at least give you items to aim for in ultimate. If you have any questions, Guardian Angel, let us know. Let's do our customary warm-up TTFs, I think. You bookmarked the spreadsheet? Nice. <clears throat> I will probably... Do oh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. I should probably put everything that we're going to talk about in the next guide also in a document for people to access. Oh, I see Murphy has arrived. So yeah, let's... Ooh. Went up several levels, I see. You were like 130 earlier today. The grind is real. Yeah, so people that want to do a couple warm-up TTFs, then I think we'll try out some RBR. <clears throat> Assuming we have a full party. And I will split the recording just for the RBR. <laughs> Oh, that's your sandbox character? Interesting. Oh, same name, though. I paid more attention to the name than the character look. Everybody is B. Let me know, Chan, if you'd like to do some TTF. Otherwise, I'll do some solo. I'll read that comment in just a moment. I want to check these items. Welcome to Parameter. If you have a question regarding forces, what would the best force to start as? I do see your beginner guide, but I don't see it as the first class, but I like mage classes. Yeah, so it's one of those things where I think it's a comfy second character. If you're just looking to do normal, I think it's not as bad. I would say probably in order, I will probably agree with what people write in the speedrun stuff, where generally it's going to be Phonumen, Phonural. Fomar, Fomarl in that order, in terms of uh, ability to clear. The reason being, uh, for some reason, Phonumen ends up with more MST in the early levels than the Phonural. They really messed up the Phonural chat. Can we have a conversation about this? Why does the Phonural have less MST than Phonumen levels 1 to 20? Like, honest, honest question, chat. Why is that a thing? So I feel like Phonumen has slightly better health, and he's got boosts that will probably carry you into the late game. So if you're looking for like a pure force, he's probably my recommendation. Phonumen eventually scales well, but she has a little uh, tougher time coming out of normal solo. Um, she'll eventually skyrocket up, but she has a dependency on a lot of health units in order to not get one shot by bosses, which can turn players off. If you know that going into it, uh, she's not as bad, and I think she goes up a little bit in terms of tier. Uh, the Fomar is a little rough. He can sometimes handgun or sometimes go forward and use mage stuff. So if you happen to have been playing Ranger, for example, you can actually mostly just use your Ranger mag on him and he'll do really good, actually, compared to some of the other characters because he has better ATP growth. So just be aware of that. If So if he's your second character, you can end up just playing melee with him the whole time, which is really funny. Uh, Fomarl is kind of like Fomar Light. She has really, really good animations with slicers, but if you don't come in with those, uh, normally they don't drop for quite a while in the early difficulties to the point where it's not very useful and or it expects you to grind a lot of power mag stuff in order for her to do damage with it. So she's a really fun melee level character. I almost don't even play her like a force uh, when I'm playing through as a second character. But yeah, it's there. Thing is, why pick him over Hugh Newell or Ron Marl? Um, sure, uh, actually, welcome. I'm not trying to say that. I do feel bad. The X by who? Hopefully I said that correctly. You're free to join in for TTF. We're in block two, password is king. Yeah, Fomar is... Fomar is a very strong force, so you can use him like you would use most forces. So he could do Gafoe stacking way better than the other characters. He has very high buffs. He's a character that if you're willing to invest items, he will generally outperform the other characters because he has just so much raw ATP. 
the problem with Hugh Newell as a character and why she is kind of pain, welcome Lilith, why she's kind of pain to level and play as is her ATA per level is horrible. Like, if theoretically she is good ATA, but if you look at her actual growth, if she doesn't have like double adept or like double heavenly arm, she hits even less than Hugh cast. And I don't think she is a, I think she's actually a really bad starting character. I would argue she might be the worst starting character to pick. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the beginner's guide. I might make another comment when we go to talk about it again. But she's another character where if you do not have those accuracy units, she feels horrible. Uh, Ron Morrill is a pretty good solo character. I think she's probably my favorite solo character for uh, low gear. Like, I could just take the character start to finish and be fine. Uh, she gets level 20 buffs, so she doesn't have as rough a time coming into ultimate. And she has access to ranger weapons, which are really good. The difference is that, like... There are times you actually do want to use techniques, like specifically Gufoe, Rabarda, um, for clears. And Fomar has a much stronger option for those than Ramarl does. So if you actually want to play a force and you want to be able to do a lot of the force tricks, uh, Fomar is kind of like your your option. But again, he's more dependent on higher accuracy. Ramarl needs almost literally nothing to do well. She she If she has the power mag, she's good. Like, that's it. So you could raise that as you play the character because she has naturally high accuracy. So for the most part, when you find a gun, you'll be able to use the gun. And as you transition out of normal, uh, things like Zalor go up in value and shift to go up in value. Because it relies on base stats. So generally speaking, like, for example, like literally going through normal, it's probably easier to play Hugh Cast than a lot of the other characters because his base stats are so strong. But when it comes into ultimate, there's kind of like an awkward gap. Which I'm not, I don't recall offhand since it's been a while since we did the beginner guide, but yeah. I do think, I think I did mention Hugh Cast is probably one of the better classes of the game, but he's one of those characters where if you do happen to have those accuracy units, he's probably the strongest character. But Hugh Neural, like the difference between like Hugh Cast and Hugh Neural for that is Hugh Neural needs it to function. Hugh Cast, if he receives them, becomes a god. That that's the difference in their power level. She she she's just a much weaker character until like much later in the game. So I definitely felt missold when I went through forum posts a long time ago, and they're like she's one of the best solo classes, and I'm like, bad is she a bad starting character though? Horrible horrible starting character. Is there anybody else looking to hop into TTF? Otherwise, we'll get started. Oh, you have a Zalor gun? Nasty. Love it. Get those S-Red Blades? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, th I think we'll be fine with three players. I mean, I'm just, one of them looks like a ranger, I'm assuming. It looks like the ranger model, so we're good. <laughs> AKA the uh, Imperimeter's character. As long as we have a ranger, I don't care. Yeah, he, Hugh, Cast, Hugh Cast is like a walking tank. If you can get him any accuracy ups, it's just like heavenly. Hugh can see on two rocket seals. Nice, nice. I didn't see the other player very carefully. I was reading chat. Bad streamer, should have been paying attention. So yeah, we should be good to go once everybody comes back. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, Hugh Cast is really good. I, I think he's... He's one of those characters where normal, normal, normal will kill basically everything. Kind of hilarious. Oh, oops. I input too quickly. It's been a while since I missed the skip dialogue. I mean, I sold the dark flow. Yeah, I do. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm just determining if it's worth getting the S red or if I'm just gonna mag blast. I mean, I'm gonna mag blast falls. I think at some point. I'll see how it goes without for now.
Welcome, Eldritch. Hope you're doing well. It's all to YouTube. I never would have guessed. Yeah, we covered that in the beginning. I think somebody was very confused about PSO. Hopefully you're doing well, Eldritch. <clears throat> I think S blades come from Ultimate Sinnohs. I don't remember which ID. Yeah, Red Sinnohs. Oh, I'm doing fine, Eldritch. I found the comments more amusing than anything. I don't think I was like super offended. I think this. I think they just didn't understand what Ifania was. Yeah, it was the first time on any video I've actually gotten like a semi salty comment. Spin in circles, we <laughs> take that money. Gonna be supersonic racing. I find YouTube comments funny in just about every context. That's fair. Yeah. It was fortunately stream safe to discuss, because there there are potentially comments that are not safe to talk about. I don't think I've had to delete any comments except for ones that were self-promoting. I think that's about it. It's like pro SM or something. They use that little abbreviation for it. I'm like, get out of here. I don't know you. Just like weird choices. Like I had to look up what that was because I was like, I don't know what this is. I just delete it. I thought it was somebody like not. I don't know, they're using like an acronym for something and I was like, oh, it is. Chat knows how I am with acronyms. I just get very confused. Delay a little bit for chat there. I'm gonna slime dupe as usual. Yeah, I think it was a person that probably is just not ever seen any other server other than original PSO. I'm guessing that's what happened. Oops, I went the wrong way. I'll tell Pipe in a moment. Oh my gosh, I got Magamit's ability. Holy. Take a photo chat. Oh, I thought this allure was going to be used on that. That sucks. I'll leave it to team on that one. Rip my Masetta. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I think I responded. No, no, it's like per segment. You would need like a Zalor slicer or something. I think to hit them all. Oh, I got tagged twice. That sucks. Rip me. I was like, I'm at full health, I shouldn't die, bop bop, dead. <laughs> I deserve that, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, sadly, you have to Zalur each individual segment if using the gun. I wasn't sure what Zalur, if you had a Zalur slicer or not. Get rid of these. It's okay, we should be fine on the other bosses. Take these. No worries in parameter. 
Aldrich saying, I don't know if somebody's angry in the YouTube comments. I mean, I kind of felt like that reading it, but I was like, I'm just going to I'm gonna respond mostly politely. And clearly the content is not for them. I'm not really sure why they're watching it. I mean, Eldritch, it really was like down to the point where like they were commenting that I was skipping the game in, in a loose sense without directly quoting them in a video called Power Leveling. I don't like I don't. I, I mean, I think it's I think it speaks for itself, Eldritch. I just they feel like they're very confused. Like either they don't know the game term or yeah, I'm just like uh, kind of the point of the video. Just one of those things, I guess. But anyway, as a reminder, don't harass the people that send comments like that to me. Just in case. I don't know if the other video will go up or not. So I'll just formally mention it now. I got bonked. Thank you, thank you, Eldritch. Yeah, it's, it's Twin Blaze O'Clock. Yeah, my ATP is pretty high, so this should be fun. Oh, I like the shift to D-Van on the... Oh. It's a shame that I didn't trigger on the Worm Boss. That would have been so clutch, actually. for sure hope you're doing well i'm really confusing the game right now i think i had no idea what to do i'll let that go through i was unlocking it sort of on my screen oh it skips the monitors that was interesting i wonder if this will work to hit it man i'm hitting it the screen is shaking my ATP is decent. Oh, he skipped monitors again. Why is he skipping monitors? Stop doing that. Like, why is he over there, chat? What a cheater. He skipped two monitors to come over here. Game is very confused. I'd just like to point out. I don't know if it's because of multiplayer desync. Like, what? Like, why did that happen? He skipped three monitors. I'm the host. He shouldn't skip like that. Ridiculous. I mean, if they... Oh, I thought for sure you were going to hit me again. I'll just bonk you with Dark Blow because it's funny. No worries. We have a couple people from Australia that sometimes join the stream. I think they have like a four or five second monitor desync, which is interesting. It always scares me when I watch the uh, <laughs> they're shooting the blue screen and I'm like, you know what? If it works for them, I'm, I'm good. Although I might not be able to do enough damage for this to work properly. It's going to be close, I think. Oh, I got assistance. We're good. Anyway, we'll be doing one more TTF and then I think we'll switch up a little bit. Put a little free strap down for people. Hopefully things are going well for you, Daddy for sure.
You know what? I'm gonna confuse trap them. Yeah, so we had a slow vault off and worm, but I think overall the run's still going okay. Nothing any major complaints. I mean, for an all cast run, I'm happy. The teams where we're running, like, I see the four-man group and they have a force and they're taking, like, 18 minutes with, like, two- with three ATPs. That drives me wild. This is fine. My expectation is if I'm expecting about a 14-minute game, probably, like, two to three minutes for casts, unless optimally geared. Solar Gun does help a lot. So depending on how much we get trolled here, this could be a 14-minute game. All depends on Falls' attitude. Very close to 180, yeah, exactly. She's so close. What a quality of life when I get that. There we go. I think I need to break out the dark flow for this. So I'm like, I gotta go for the, the risky low health into dark fall strat. It's kind of play spinner dodging. Oh, there we go. Look at the damage. You can see when I strike, they just lose 3k. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. <laughs> so I'm doing my best to speed it up. Oh, missed completely. That's unfortunate. Oh, free attack. Take those. Uh, I might be able to dodge this. We'll see what happens. Oh, got tagged with the explosion radius. That sucks. I was worried that would happen. The radius on Rafoe is stupid. Can we talk about that? <laughs> what is what an ability? Oh well. Murphy says good news when I get an angry fist wall will be cake. It is. Yeah, like you can even see on the mini map, it's like nowhere near me. But the the ring, like way beyond the ring, I'll get tagged. I hate looking for the invisible hitbox. <laughs> I wish it actually expanded to accurately represent that thing's range. I'm like almost at Mag Blast. That's a lure is gonna help a lot. Yeah, like look at that. We're gonna be ending around 15 minutes. That's pretty good. Oh, you're gonna target me? We're gonna play this game? I wasn't sure if that would be long enough, honestly. Rip me. On the plus side, I don't need to be buffed. <laughs> right, Chad? We don't got buffs anyway. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> GG. All cast clear. And again, this is still probably faster than some of the public games I've seen. I'm happy with this. I mean, no shift, uh... We got mostly bad boss RNG with bags. Cleared it under 15. I think you'd be happy about that. Solid. Yeah, I was gonna say exactly. Yeah, no no slicer. Uh I don't have like fully optimized dark flow. It's like a way I could very easily pump damage. I could sphere my dark flow for dark. I guess if I was going to sphere something, it would probably be the dark flow first over Baran's launcher. To be honest. I would want my sword to hit like a truck if I'm gonna use it.
I think 60 hit is at least solid enough to consider sphering onto it. If I get a higher one, then I just sphere that one eventually as well. I mean, essentially, if I add, like, what, 30% on a weapon that normally gives 800, it's like I'm pretending I'm a Hugh cast using the same weapon. That's how I view it. And that might make a difference on falls. It would be enough that I would consider lowering HP after claw phase, or swipe phase, I mean. We'll do one more. Oh, Murphy is here to provide the buffs. Murphy gonna provide the before and after in the run. Yeah, let's see, Deep Hearts version 1.01. .01. I could technically hunt for a Deep Hearts version 1.01. .01. Maybe I should do that later, actually. Like, unironically. When this character gets Red Ring, I think she's going to be Deep Hearts version 101 and that for max ATP. Get rid of her uh, Blackhound Grace. Because I, I do feel like she's missing a, a tiny bit of damage. We could wait a couple minutes, Murphy, if they're available. Yeah, so for those that aren't aware of what that item is that I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the chat. So, I do recommend this item. I have it currently only on my, uh, Rocket Seal, but it is good. It's one of the few armors in the game that provides ATP. And it gives light resistance, which is important for falls. So, having 35 extra damage potentially being multiplied by all of your percentages on weapons, because as a reminder, armor ATP is added when it's considering, for example, this charge disc has 40% machine, that that 35 ATP gets affected by that. Yeah. So I'm thinking of I'm thinking of doing one of those runs. Yeah, it's it's really good. <laughs> Maybe I'll do hunts on stream right after this rather than doing other things. It's a very easy run. I, I put that in my popper guide because I think it's one of those forgotten quests. For red ID, bulk call gets a 1 in 160, which is not bad. Yeah, honestly, I might just hunt that real quick. Unless someone has a spare one. It's not a hard run to do. You did it on Sky. Exactly. Sky has... Yo... Sky yellow and green can also do it, but for some reason on red ID, it's twice as likely to drop. I don't know why. But that's that's how they left it, so I'm like, okay. The other ones get a 1 in 320, which is, again, not bad for a rare drop, but it's 1 in 160 for red ID for some reason. So I'll, I'll play it literally on this character. It's also kind of funny because the same run, if you do it on purple, drops vices. I find very hilarious. Yeah, there are 32 bull claws in the quest called Fragments of Memory. Got so many flowing swords trying to get it. You don't mind joining the hunt? It's a really good one. Sure. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that after this. <laughs> I'll just run it with this character who will obviously kill everything. And then she'll be 178. Then I just need to get one extra ad slot from something. Yeah, it's a very easy run. I don't know how much it trades for. Maybe Hulkley would know. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to do it. I think it was using brawn badges for it. Mm -hmm. 
Got a three mech Aphis. Nice. They focus on defense nowadays. Ooh, interesting. Let's see, what was it last priced at out of curiosity? Departs. High stat, six to eight. Interesting. Max stat, 35 to 85. What? That's a little silly. Oh no, I would not pay that much for it. I don't want that one defense. To be real with you. Yeah, it's an easy enough fun. <laughs> okay, so that's about right. Okay. I'll consider that the subject matter expert on the source, or the SME. Here's your business term of the day. People like their max stats, yeah, it seems like it. Meanwhile, me, I'm like, does it have four slots? Cool. <laughs> it's like, it saves me some time later. Oh, I like that confused. Nice, we're gonna get extra kills. Yeah, if you kill those, that's fine. We, we can handle this next room. I don't think it'll go too much faster out of everybody there. You might as well as optimize how many things we're killing per run for PDs. I think Red ID gets some decent drops from the other enemies. I just don't recall what they are offhand. Rid of you. I don't know why it's telling me I have an update available. I have no, no intention of using that. Uh, music. Oh, we hit the end of the soundtrack. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Uh, we'll play this in the meantime. Well, I guess we're out of Sonic games, question mark. I guess the last like eight songs were just sound effect files. So we'll have to figure out what chat would like to listen to in PSO going forward. There are officially no more Sonic things to listen to. The end of an era. Oh, time to run, time to run. <laughs> time to run back. Welcome, Dango. Hope you're doing well. Dupe some slimes. And this character will officially be 178. Uh oh. Somebody else pulled the slime. Come back to me, slime. Well, thank you for checking out the Discord. I got stuck. Oh, I got stuck twice. That sucks. Oh well, not a big deal. I got revived. Yeah, I think if I had pause trek through, I might have been able to not slow down when I was there. Oh well. One, two, three. Man, slime shots have been kind of disappointing. I'm not even seeing materials. So what's up with that? It's drop rate up. Where are the materials? <laughs> right, chat? This should be the week I should see more things from slime duping, not less. RNG, please. Like, I, I don't care about the rare rate of slimes. I want that drop rate. Oh, no invincibility. Getting hard targeted sucks. Get out of here, worm boss. 
They're like three feet more through mags free and something else. Uh oh. And something else. It could be anything. Even be another mag. It's probably not another mag. Eat these. It's on 29. Yeah, why did that drop here? I didn't think Caves was allowed to do that, but today we learned, I guess. Uh, I should get a couple of these kills. In theory, these drop items that people would be interested in, like, legitimately. So I'm sure if other people like hard of items, I think it was talked about on stream, Red ID gets those. So I'll try to courtesy clean up at least one wave every time we go through. Could be for one of more rappies, oh no. Damn, chat's murdering. I mean, I might as well just keep murdering until I see somebody go in the doorway. Ah. Squeeze out a couple more kills. I should still be lined up for the Sinnoh Red before it does anything. <laughs> the simultaneous freeze trap detonation was amazing. Just got wedged in death. Let's leave this room. We don't need these enemies, sadly. Unless you want a Kasami Bracer. Just clear the way for the chat. Uh-oh, chat's starting the wave without us. What's going on? Uh-oh, the uncoordination. Uh, I mean, I'll kill my way out of here. Don't get me wrong. There we go. No worries. Murdering my way through. I might as well kill you for item checks. Kind of interesting. Mm. Wind blaze time. You're on B101, Brian. It happens. It happens. I totally get it. Especially if you're used to playing different ideas. Totally get it. I'm not even like 1% annoyed or mad. I do that all the time. I feel bad for Tiggy. I give Tiggy the whiplash what ID we're doing. But I've been in red ID mode for a while. I mean, I might as well just participate with the Cassand. Pretty fast. Again, like having almost 2,000 total ATP is pretty good there. That's pretty fast. So I guess if there's people that uh, wanted to level lower level characters for a little bit, probably gonna dip it down to hard mode. Do that run a couple times. I usually do it on rare week or drop rate week when I do do it, because it does benefit from it. It's not a hard run either. Ironically on hard mode. <laughs> Easy run on hard mode. Honestly, I kind of want them confused and fighting each other. More kills for us, I think. I'm gonna split from the group to make sure I don't line up with anybody. Look at that damage dealt. <clears throat> to Murphy saving over two minutes so far. The power of Shifta uh, and Zalor. On that one boss. GG. Yeah, you can heal them if you want. I'm gonna drain HP.
I'm not the closest player to the monument anyway. Which I guess is convenient if I host. Nicely done, nicely sniped by the team. So my goal is mostly just to stay on the upper side of the arena. So I'm not planning to hit the middle head and I need to be very close. I'm gonna try to lure the spinners away from me a little bit. We'll see though. I'll strike through, kill one of you. Circle back around. Yeah, so now if it dies, I'm pretty much in position. So yeah, Chad, let me know what soundtrack to potentially do. I think I heard Jet Set Radio. I've never played the game. I cannot vouch for the soundtrack quality. I'm assuming it's good. I just don't know if it's this kind of music I would really listen to. But we'll see. Bomberman is a lot of different games. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, look at that damage. Oh! Oh, I think I crit. <laughs> I saw a 6k drop. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye, boss. Our man's not a bad idea, actually. Good series. Played a handful of their games. It's unfortunate going into that attack. And it still clipped me. I'm so glad I healed. I'm going in the middle, I think. Oh, oh that was such a rude... That was such a rude wall bounce. Holy. That was actually unlucky. It hit me at the tip. That was so rude. Shake your head on that one, chat. It didn't aim at me, but then it retargeted and aimed at me. <laughs> that was so disrespectful, I agree. Wow. So unfortunate. I was like maybe three steps from living. That was such a sharp angle it took, too. I was not expecting that. It's very rare I see it go that kind of an angle. Wow, that was a fast fault, at least. Well, anyway, that should be, like, 13 or less. <laughs> Even with the stupid timer ticking up here. leveled up. No ETA on my level up though, sadly. 12.01. Wow, solid time. 100 hit red ring. Hmm. What is bull calls? Natural drop rate. Let's find out again in real time. It is 40%, so it is impacted fully by the drop rate and boost. Versus Newman male. Ooh. Sadly, I am not the category for any of those. <laughs> Big goof on that one. Hmm. I was hoping there'd be another Sega series. Potentially that would go there. Bomberman isn't Sega, sadly. But I think I'd be more inclined to do Bomberman. In, it's more in spirit of Sonic the Mario. I don't know, chat. Are there some favorite Sega series? Because I think we listened to all PSO already. Maybe I didn't do all the PSP games, maybe? We, we did at least up to zero, like we listened to all the original ones into zero from what I remember. I don't recall, I probably didn't do the PSP ones. Oops. I was gonna say, humor me, Chan. I'm gonna do some hard mode runs. 
Bring in whatever you want, if you want to join. Let's do a quick Google search. List of Sega video game franchises. <laughs> Bayonetta, okay. Not what I would have thought, but sure. Galaga. Is that a series or just... I thought it was just one game. I mean, technically that is in Fantasy Star. I didn't think there were. I thought they were just ports of themselves. I guess we could listen to different ports of it. I guess that might work. Yeah, what is the whole... Because there's Galaxian. Galaga, I didn't think there were... Other versions. It is the sequel to Galaxian. Uh... I'll probably do that in a little bit then. Okay, for so anybody want to come in on hard mode runs, if not, I understand. We'll just do this. We'll do a couple of attempts to say that I'm at least going for a power up for this character. I would and should. I definitely need them. They're pretty good for Hue Cast, too. It's just free ATP. Let me finish this feed, no problem. Uh. Other choices are there. Acquired franchises. Them being partnered with Persona makes sense, I guess. Oh, you know what would probably be good? Is, is Crazy Taxi music good chat? I don't think I've ever heard a soundtrack for it before. We'll switch over the music to Crazy Taxi. Put that on hold for now. Elm Cleave is switching, no problem. It's one I've at least seen before. And there are a few crazy taxis that I remember. But I don't know if they're like vocal. See, the problem is I don't know if they're like original songs or like actual radio songs. Oh, they might be like radio songs. That I don't think I could do. Uh, I thought they were original songs. I will right, we'll go back to this then. Once this is done, I'll probably do Bomberman then. I feel like we've listened to Bomberman 64 on stream before, but I don't think we did the other games. Oh, should be Retrieval, Fragments of a Memory, there we go. What are the ideal Force IDs? Um... Tough question to ask. I would say things that they use in standalone would be pink. What they're good at hunting, probably green, red, white. If you're going Fomoral, I'd recommend white. No worries, Hulk Leave. Pink ID is like if you are not planning on trading, you probably need them for forces at some point. But it's not mandatory. They have the easiest time getting amplifiers. They could get adepts. There's things like Mother Garb, which are potentially really useful. Yeah, P pink is like the built-in force ID. It's just like, it's not as great once you have the items, because most things that are force related aren't worth farming again, if that makes sense, unless you're farming like limiters specifically. Uh, but they even get things like V801. 
Yeah, full moral, I actually recommend white ID because you play her more ATP than like a pure force. But if you're looking for like a faux Newman, pink ID is probably appropriate. If you're looking for him to do potentially some runs, uh, you might want to consider a red ring ID, like red, green, white. Because they're, they're decent. It's pretty easy to get into those kinds of games. Yeah, this quest has some weird dead end doors. As long as we kill this side stuff, we should be fine. I always forget where the bull claws are. But every single one of those should be a 1 in 60 for the team. So, presumably within 5 runs, we should get it. Technically, I need to get two of them, but I'll be happy with just one for now. <laughs> with the Kapoe spam, these things stand no chance. Uh, D parts version 1.01, which is extremely good for casts. Yeah, it's good for raw cast, good for Hugh cast, good for raw seal, and also Hugh seal. It's 35 ATP armor. That's every radio is about half and half license tracks and original tracks. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Like, I don't want to do ones where it has like actual lyrics from bands because that will not go through. Kind of like I enjoy Tony Hawk Pro Skater early music, but I wouldn't be able to put it on stream because it would just DMCA the whole stream. The other ones are more lenient with it. Not necessarily all the time, but they're the more lenient with it. Yeah, I think I had a green ranger for my Nidra. Green, green is a solid ID. I think I mentioned green ID in my uh, mag feeding guide. Because that's, that's why I made my green ranger. And then I still use him for uh, TTF and stuff like that. Then I made, I think, a red force for uh, Nidra as well. So I just happened to have a Fomar that was red ID. Oh yeah, it'll go real fast with high level characters. Uh, pick a path. Was it middle? Might be middle. As long as I'm fighting a bow claw, we're good. Where it teleports you is not random. I just don't remember which one actually advances. Oh, D parts already. Well, chat, the hunt is over. That, that took like no time. Uh, what do I drop for this? Evade material? Easy pickup. Sadly, it rolled low on stats. Time to RL for it. Maybe. I might do in a couple more for the team. It's it's not like a hard rod, as you can see. It goes very fast in multiplayer. Ooh, why am I getting more event eggs on hard mode? <laughs> I didn't think it was random at all. I thought if I picked like the left one, I always ended up going the right way. It's interesting if it is. I guess that's unfortunate RNG when I played. Why are walkie talkie voices so different? Ludana hitting, asking the hard hitting questions. When was that even? Uh, that was like two or three streams ago. Welcome to Oriole. Isn't that happy music as we kill everything? So yeah, I got I got a literal min stat D parts. Just fine. Again, I don't really need it for the defense. If I care about defense, I'm gonna wear black hound chat. This is how it works. Yeah, it was Justice for All because it would have been, uh... We were questioning why the villain... 
We're like, we're like, why would he, why would he go out and talk? Just during that long conversation. Okay, I don't need to go that way for any items. I'll go towards the power. I'm looking for the power material. I think it's up here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I guess in context of like total streams. Oh, that's right. I can't get that. That's a debate material, not the power material. Oh well. I mean, I'm basically done with the run. I got what I needed. <laughs> Just how much does Black Count add to resist out of curiosity? Not that much, honestly. I don't think I really care about losing those little resistances. I'll pick up money since I'm here. 950 Meseta? What dropped 950? Wait, that was actually like a real amount of Meseta. What was- who, what dropped that? My mind is blown. What, seriously, what dropped 950? That's insane. I've guessed the bulk claw. Where is that when we're playing episode 4? Where's our 2k cash drops? <laughs> Apparently they do drop a lot of money in bulk claw. I've never noticed before. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I don't think I need any items there. Take a look at the map real quick. We have a player going down in the bottom left. Guess I could assist. For some reason, yeah. I was about to say, I was like, did someone somehow trigger the uh the banner? <laughs> That'd be really funny, I'm not gonna lie. Just hard mode banner, just like, yeah, just don't mind me. Yeah, we might as well just finish the run. We'll do this run like two more times. It's a fast run, as you can see. Like, we're messing around and we're already done with it. Yeah, this is definitely a funnel room. We do, no we do not want to do floor two, no thank you. We want to do it on normal. Stupid uh, detonation stuff. Alright, so in the final room, were there any bull claws? I don't think so, right? Oh, no, there's two. Elsever's left arm, rip. The enemy was annihilated. Anyway, another game. Let me put this one away. So that'll be for one of the other characters. We'll do we'll do two more of these runs. They're pretty quick. I did quite a few of these for Rock to Seal and Rock Us early on. And do, so I do remember. I did them many years ago at this point. I don't think I've done it since... I don't know, at least three? I feel like I did a couple on stream just to demonstrate them, and then, like, I didn't do any serious runs for a very long time of them. But yeah, it does not take very long to get the item, especially on Red ID. They drop like candy. So with drop rate up or rare rate, it's you can get them pretty easy. It's kind of like when you go back to, like, what is it, hard mode tower, and you get the spheric garments. Oh no, Hel I can't pick up items, Hellcleave. This is the only character that can't hold items. This character is 100% item maxed all the time. <laughs> Let me put this away so I can maybe hold something that you're gonna give me. One moment. I look these away. Okay, I'm good now. Welcome, pretentious asteroids. Hope you're doing well. Oh, a kunai. Oh, 20% hit. Is that better than the current kunai I'm using? Do I have a 15 hit kunai or a 20 hit kunai? What is better? Nice. I think... Uh, do I... Mm, oh, I'll think about it. She hits it 100% of the time currently, but she doesn't 100% things underground, so that could still be useful. Thank you, Hulk Lee. Hopefully you're doing well, Pretentious Asteroids. We're doing a very quick hard mode run. Still useful, even in high level play. So I figure showcase that I do, I do sometimes do the runs I talk about in the Popper Guide, but I do it when I have like a high level character. Kind of like when we're going for things for the components of, uh, what is it, Stink Frame plus whatever. Potentially going for those side items was worth grinding. So I was doing that on pick ID hard mode, I think, with Foam Oral. Rid of a couple of these. 
That just Sasha says, haven't played this in a long time, feeling nostalgia, so I watch a bit. Nice, nice. I believe this brings back many fond memories. Although probably not quite as one-sided as the current quest. These poor enemies. They're not ready for these high-level characters. Chalice are very gradually giving me more XP on this character. By Chaos Sorcerer. Mambo Claws. Drop it for the party. EB Saver. Not quite what we're looking for. Shoot you real quick. I might as well just clear for event eggs and whatever. Let chat kill the other ones. Soon, says Murphy. Anyway, let's go play catch up with the team. Or slot frame. Could in theory pick that up. Yeah, technically, if you know there's no waves that have uh, the bulk claw, you can skip them. So team left when there are no more bulk claws. I just decided to go on a killing spree. <laughs> Chad, I'm officially getting more drops on hard mode than ultimate. This is so sad. Everybody just roll your eyes. <laughs> Might start the slow prep for work. Good luck with work, Murphy. Shake my head, my head. Yeah, pretty much. Apparently get all my PDs from Vault Off Boxes. It's supposed to be worse odds. I, I know, I think it's 1 in 500 for ultimate. I forget what it is for lower difficulties. But it's sad that I'm literally still getting more in hard mode than ultimate. And I kill way more in ultimate than hard mode. I obviously kill faster on hard mode, but it's like... So sad. Very hard is actually pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the drop rate in a little bit. Cause we're just on hard mode, we're not even on very hard. The drop rate should be atrocious, it should be like half. Walking is your limiting factor in hard mode, that's true. Can you imagine if Beyond the Horizon allowed item drops? How broken that quest would be. You've had a change of fortune. Lady Luck smiles upon no one. Wow. RNG, RNG has decided not to bless us. Why is that a thing, by the way? Why are there weeks where literally nothing is blessed? <laughs> yeah, that's the egg rate. What's the uh, PD rate, though? Which also, I'd like to point out, I received an egg before. I almost thought that was another egg, I was gonna lose it. Damn, they're just getting mowed down right now. You've seen that before, what does that mean? You mean the drop rates that Murphy's talking about? What do you mean, uh, when Helkley mentioned 60N? Oh, the Lady Luck thing? Uh, so if you type in slash forecast, I have it set to a shortcut. Uh, it will give you 1% bonus towards rare drop rate per category that your character satisfies. So if it said Force Newman male, if I was a new faux Newman, I would get 3% bonus towards rare rate. It's just to slightly encourage players to play different classes. One in 375 and all. What are their total drop rates? Pretentious Asteroids asking for how the drop mechanics work. So, since I'm the host of the game, it will be based off of my ID. If any of changed it so that if I leave the game, it'll change the game ID. I believe that was not a default behavior of how it worked before. Originally, what would happen is people would just go around creating like literally dozens of pink ID stuff and then uh or like certain ID stuff so that and then switching characters so that way they never actually technically had to play the ID while just leaving it open in a multiplayer game
Yeah, they, they, they got kind of annoyed at people doing that, so they got rid of it in Infinia. That is no longer a thing. It used to be. I don't think I really did that for the most part. It was just more useful if the host happened to drop. Mid-game that it wouldn't lose the ID, but now it does. The enemy was annihilated. So I'll check out the other rooms. Oh, is it that high? I didn't realize. I thought it was much, much, much lower. I think I gotta go to the middle teleport. Hmm, interesting. When I found S parts, nice. I'm not sure where the other enemies were that we didn't kill. Let's not go back this way. Yeah, I'll just loop around here. I'm gonna check some items anyway. No wearing rares, basic discs, enemies drop an as a one in third chance to drop a tool. Hmm. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Maybe I was thinking of the rates combined. Oh no, trolled. What OST is this again? This is a Sonic soundtrack. Might as well finish up the run. Oh, just the healing circle. I earned that healing circle. Oh, one more. Give team a fair chance of getting these. And then I guess we'll decide what to do from there. 1375 for ults. Interesting, interesting. So, so I'm almost somewhere between four and five times less likely to get PDs. Yet I got a PD here before TTF. <laughs> find that really funny. So, I, I guess if the team is up to it, we could try RBR. Art is one quarter of the rate. Um... Almost. Yeah. The two, two RBR is yeah, it's something else. That's why I was like, I wish it. I understand why it's like that. I just wish it wasn't for showcasing on stream. That's why we've been really hesitant to do it. I carried the I carried a 25 over. I got four I don't know why I got uh 1450. I did math wrong. I think my brain said like 75 and 75 is 150, but then like the five stayed there for some reason. Murdered these enemies real quick. These. And these. thinking how horrible this quest would be if it's an RBR. Like, actually unplayable. You play, like, the first room and just quit every time.
Yeah, the OST plan is Sega games. I'm looking for a good Sega game. Currently, we're just listening to Sonic Speed Simulator, which was a mix of every Sonic game. So that's technically the soundtrack we're listening to for the person that asked earlier. It was just one of the last ones I happened to have loaded. I just didn't feel like looking up another one. But yeah, I didn't really see any that really struck me. As I said before, I think technically I haven't done the PSP Fantasy Star games. So I could in theory do those next. Or start over with the, the Fantasy Star music. Because I'm pretty sure we listened to literally the Genesis 1 through 4. Interesting how much of this game design you see for collection of modern games. Yeah. In particular, Monster Hunter comes up a lot in conversations. And then PSO2 copied Monster Hunter in turn with how they handle healing items and stuff like that. I'm gonna go left. Goodbye, these enemies. Oops. Goodbye, my aim, apparently. I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna go right first. As long as we clear the level, that's all that really matters. Get rid of you. Like that one normal attack is good enough to kill them. It saves me a lot of time. Found the other team. Get rid of you. Bubble Laconia. We were just talking about that the other day on Tiki Stream. I was like, he should really pick up a Club Laconia. If somebody picks that up, I'll give it to Tiki. Because he was uh, gearing up his forces. He's trying to make, a, I think, a Summit Moon on stream. Since he didn't have a weapon for uh, falls. So I'll just drop it to him next time I see him. Yeah, I wanted if you got it. If you're not going to use it, I will take it and give it to Tiggy. It gives a 40% to Foey, for those not aware. It's actually really good for falls. Rid of those. UI from from. Oh, I'll take your word on that one. Yeah, I just need A1. It could be any of them. If you have more, it doesn't hurt. I'll just hold them for new players. Because I do think that weapon is honestly worth using. Just because the final phase in single player being able to do like 500 of Foey is insanely fast on falls. Clearing these enemies out. The end. No, wouldn't let me shoot the trap fast enough. Last one, please. So bad, last one. I love you for your ability to kill enemies, but you just cannot hit traps, sadly. It hits it like 20% of the time, it's so sad. I, I hope that if they ever do any more updates, they fix last one hitting traps. That stuff is so nonsensical in this game. Let me see if I could showcase it again. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, it just doesn't... Like, sometimes it works. Can I pipe? Sure. Pipe in my room. So I set the standard for four players to cooperate group size. Yeah. <coughs> I hear an O. Is somebody looking for something in my room? Otherwise, I think I can hold the Laconiums. Oh, I picked up a frame. 
that out of here. Uh, there's a couple of weapons that can happen too. And it makes me sad every time. Nice, thank you. A lot of the multi-hits, they get kind of glitchy with it. I think it also happens on Master Raven. It sometimes happens on Vulcan, but I, I don't know what's different about Vulcan compared to Last Swan. I don't know if it's just like the height of the weapon, but there's just like sometimes you shoot and it like, see what I mean? Like it just doesn't... Like I can't do it faster than that to my knowledge. Like it's, it's like you have to do it so fast compared to other weapons. I just don't like its inconsistency. Like, sometimes I feel like it's le lenient, and sometimes it's not, like, there. And, like, you do something like this. And, you like, you can almost delay and just reshoot it like that. It's also weird because if you're too far away... Let's see if this works. It also sometimes just hits the trap and doesn't do anything. I don't know if I could get that on stream. That happened last stream. Yeah, it's like there's like a little bit of a timing with it where it just doesn't always hit it. It's kind of weird. You'll see it actually, you know where you know where that happens? I think it was in the last stream session versus uh what's it, the Sinnohs? Where if I have the trap like this. Sometimes when I shoot like this and it targets the trap, it, the bullets just all three of them will hit the trap and not do anything. I think that happened literally last stream. I don't know what causes that. If they if they can fix that specifically, that would make me very happy. Because there's times where I'm not trying to instant trap shoot and it's like whatever if I miss the instant trap shoot. But there's other times where I'm like targeting an enemy that's like where the blue box is and it'll all my bullets will go to the trap and not detonate the trap, which drives me wild. Yeah, it's a big oof whenever that happens. It's not like... I, I don't know how to recreate it. It just happens. It's just a thing that happens with Lust Swan. I don't know if it's like a distance thing or like the trap has to be out a certain length of time for it to do that. It's weird. Like, I can't usually get it on demand. I don't know if it also requires an enemy to be present. If that's like why it glitches sometimes. Because it feels more consistent when I'm just, like, shooting in general. Like, see how, like, I could just kind of keep rapid shooting and sometimes I'll just retarget freely? I don't usually get that near an enemy, but it could just be very unlucky timing, I guess. Cool thing. So yeah, last one requires, like, a lot of... A lot of timing. It's, like, a little bit of a delay, but not too much. You can see, like, sometimes it doesn't even become targetable. You see what I mean? Like, there's nothing I can do about this one. Like, sometimes it'll target, sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand why it does that. This experimenting chat. Is this my favorite in the series? I've only really played this one. I wasn't a big fan of PSO2. I didn't give Ultimate much of a chance because it didn't have split screen. And then I just ended up coming to this one. Are all these weapons found on Ultimate? Uh, a lot of them are. Some of them aren't. Technically, you can find vices on other difficulties. Last one, I think I got on Normal, technically. That requires a Photon Crystal. Jaya, I think I got on... This one might have been Hard Mode. Twin Blaze is Ultimate. Dark Flow is Ultimate. Club of Laconium, we just got on Hard Mode. So, I mean, there's like a mix of items. We'll do one more chat and then we'll switch characters. Let me know what the team wants to do after this. Again, like the RBR is just so awkward. I don't know. I don't think I'm a fan of the forest one. The, the ruins are not ruins. The episode four desert one, I think is fine. So yeah, one more and then we'll switch it up. Yeah, a lot of force stuff you can find on the lower difficulties. That's where I think the popper guide really helps. Like, just if you play the game, you'll probably end up, especially as pink ID, you'll probably end up with every wand without trying. Like, you don't even have to specifically hunt for it. It'll just happen kind of things. Power still scares you. I'm not a fan of it. I think it's not the difficulty that I'm annoyed at. It's more like the gimmick of tower it just really annoys me. Drives me wild. 
There's like just way too much insta kill. If it if it at least did like really high damage and it based it off your defense or they did really high elemental damage, I think I would be mostly fine with it, but there's still a lot of really BS spawns in tower. That's why I don't like playing a majority of the later game quests. So we have <laughs> username is please help me on bad. Is there a default keybind to switch banks? Uh, there's not a keybind for it. I map it with my controls. If you look at the chat command, I have shift plus F9 as my bank one. So if you type in, if you hit space slash bank, it'll switch it. And then going forward, you can set it up to that. The mechs are the worst in tower. Uh, maybe solo. Like a really optimized UCAS might be able to do it kind of things. Oh, unless you mean an enemy type. An, a mech? A mech in tower? What mech? Do you mean Epsilon? Oh, yeah, Epsilon. I never paid it. I guess. I never really thought about what type Epsilon was. I just don't even pay attention. There's such a long waiting game. I tune out on that fight. Yeah, I guess it's technically. And yeah, this machine. Remember, you set those keybinds for each character separately. Good point, Murphy. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of like they're pretty easy to kill. Honestly, now I think they're the least scary thing. Oh. We'll give the team another minute. I'm assuming people are swapping or whatever. I think we're still doing hard mode unless I accidentally did something else. So we'll do one more of those. Is machine an unfair type? It's not that bad. Yeah, they're they're definitely a time waster. Don't get me wrong, but it's like I'd rather fight those than like a cross formation of uh, lilies or the murder flowers. Those are just legitimately unfair. Oh yeah, my bad. I meant one more. No, I I don't think it's something you should touch at all. As like a new character, we'll we'll switch after this to something else. I haven't seen team get one of these yet. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing is people are like willing, they like want to jump into episode two and I'm like, episode two is so unfriendly to ungeared characters, it's unreal. Like episode four is not bad if you have like a weapon, not even end game to deal with it. And then it's actually pretty fun, honestly. I think people are just really big babies over satellite lizards and they need to get over it, to be real with you. Whereas like tower and everything else is like some of the most heinous levels you will play in the game. You either have demons or you die. There's pretty much nothing in between. If you do anything less, it takes like 30 years to kill anything and everything can one shot you. Your defenses don't matter. And set damage is high and fire damage is high. It's very silly. Yeah, zoos are very easy. Honestly, like, it's to the point where I've even gotten used to hitting them with mech guns. I don't think they're that bad. I would say if you're playing a Hue cast, your quality of life item will be Twin Blaze. Pretty much once you get that, it's episode 4 is free mode for you as a cast. I still don't use it in episode 4 that often, but when I do, it just shuts down the encounter so fast. Yeah, Frozen Shooter, it, yeah, we, I think Hellcleave and I joke about it all the time. Frozen Shooter, Demons, if you play with anything less than that, it's just a horrible, horrible experience. And both of those are like ultimate only for the most part. I mean, I guess in theory, maybe you could tech up in very hard mode a demon item, but if it also had 50 hit, that would be a miracle. What's Twin Blaze? It is a double-sided weapon that casts Gafoe and it just shuts down enemies instantly. So if there's like Dorfons charging you or Zeus dive bombing, it'll put a fireball around you that just says no. Like see the spell you're seeing in front of us now? That'll just nope the Zeus. Like they can't do anything about it. It'll stop their charge. The only thing that'll hit you is laser from those enemies. So like Dorfons like to hit you on spawn. You can interrupt it with fireball. Yeah, like when you get that, it's like, oh, then, then you understand how the game is meant to be played. Like, it, if you're playing solo, it's definitely a lot more tricky. But like, 
if you get an item that compensates for not having a force, it's much better. Episode 4 is clearly meant to be played with the force. A lot of their mechanics are completely voided by spells, and they cover the things that the rangers and hunters don't. So there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's completely fine. It's just the problem is, like, Episode 2 really wants you to get, like, very, very specific items, as opposed to, like, a range of things. Like, a ranger is potentially good at paralysis and things like that. I don't think they're mandatory when you play Episode 4, but when you play things like Episode 2 without Hell or Demons or Frozen Shooter, it just, every run just feels like an absolute agony, to be honest with you. Unless you are like truly endgame in stats, because most of the enemies are just designed to be harder on purpose. Yeah. I don't think I need anything from that room, actually. Yeah, like you... See, that's the thing, too, is like, I don't think you need like specific items to win as a party in Episode 4. Like, Demons is nice, but not needed. If you play with the Force, they'll compensate. Where Episode 2, like, you really specifically need items. Like, you can't just be like, oh, we have two Rangers, a cast, and a Force will be fine kind of thing. Like, you could do that in Episode 4 and just never get anything specific to beat those enemies. But, man, oh man. Going into Episode 2 blind is an experience. The first areas aren't too bad. Arguably, they're fun, question mark. I just don't like the level design. And the Barans. I, I don't like the Barans. Enemy sucks. I... See, I think that's the problem with, like, old-school game methodology. They think, like, challenge equals insta-kill, and you'll see that a lot in older RPGs. Let me just say, I'm so glad for the most part that methodology is gone. I'm glad I don't experience that in modern RPGs. I did not miss it. I will never miss it. I don't really find it fun when you're... When, like, your gear and your experience is completely voided by a mechanic. Just, I, I don't like it as a concept. I don't care if things put you at, like, 1 HP necessarily when you play that, because you can play around it with, like, mag triggers and stuff like that. But, like, the literal one-touch death, it's, like... What is the point of the other resistances here? Like, why, why couldn't you just have them do different elemental attacks? So for people that wanted to max resistance, they're like, Oh, look at me, I did these things and I'm able to survive now. Yeah. It's just like every single enemy in Ultimate Episode 2 has like some insta-kill in Tower. It's just really obnoxious. It's not as bad on lower difficulties, because the different elemental lilies actually do elemental damage, and I'm actually really annoyed they got rid of that in Ultimate. I, if, honestly, it would have been a lot more healthy. Then the cross-formation nonsense wouldn't be a problem, and you could actually do it in single-player. Yeah, there's some quests that are just so miserable to do single-player, due to the fact that if you don't have, like, the perfect freeze trap and frozen shooter and this, you just die. Oh, there's a couple of bull claws team this. Let me kill them real quick. I just I don't I don't find that very interesting to be honest. It's okay that there's quests geared for multiple players, but even then, if like those players can't instantly kill them, you will still die. Like if for whatever reason everybody's on one side of the room, it's just GG. It's like a really hard knowledge check on some of those quests. I just don't find that interesting. Yeah, like, it, like it's uh, kind of what Murphy's kind of pointing into. Like, if the insta-kill was always EDK, I think it would have been fine. Yeah, but the fact that it's just like it ignores all your stats is stupid. Oh, look at that. Congratulations, Dango. And if you don't want it, Dango, I will take it. <laughs> I always need more. But gra glad you got an additional one. Yeah, it's like... It's kind of like one of those things. I don't know. I'd rather it have played into the mechanics of the game. You need for Dango Chan? No worries, Dango. It's fine. You you earned that D part. <laughs> I'm just seeing if there's anything else I missed in this room at all. 
Is it a boss that does that? In episode 2, literally everything in Tower. Except for Del Beater. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I did think about that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Earned in quotes, yeah. Yeah, so it's just, it's very miserable in Ultimate. Just because there's so many enemies. Oh, there's a room chat missed. I'm gonna kill this real quick. Get rid of you. Yeah, that, that's why I don't like playing it. A lot of people like it for the challenge because they're like truly end game gear. But it's like. Oh, there's how clean pick it up at V101. Okay, so it's a mostly successful couple runs. I'm glad we did another one. It seems to have helped the group out. There we go. I was gonna say, I don't remember hearing the enemy got annihilated. What is this character aiming at? Do you see what I mean with the traps too? Did you see her do the 180? Why does that happen? Hello? That right there. If they can stop that from happening with Last Swan, I'd be really happy. Like, did you see my character? Just like, where is she aiming? <laughs> Kill issue? Look at this. Night. Oh, Dango. Oh, Dango rolling in dough now. Damn. Damn, Dango, Dango won the lottery on that one. And this one isn't targetable to me. Look at it. Hello? Hello? Like, chat, what is this? This is also what I'm talking about, where it's untargetable. Why? <laughs> it's not consistent. I don't know if it's like a... I don't understand what causes it. I don't know if it's certain rooms or what the deal is. Like, you can see, like, when it's shootable, the cursor pops up on it, but then you saw it was going, like, all wacky world. I imagine it's some combination of character height and geometry, where it estimates the distance from the ground, but not every floor is the same or something weird. I'm guessing that's why it's so inconsistent. Because otherwise, like, if it was always based off of character height, then, then why is it sometimes it's completely untargetable? This might be not doing anything different. The only thing different is the room I'm doing it in. It's very weird. Yeah, I know 50%. Uh, it's up to you, Chad. Did you want to do one more or switch quests? I mean, apparently it was uh, Dango Lottery time. Which RVR? Uh, I want to say it's siloed after image. I'll run it by the chat at the top. I'll minimize this so chat can read a little easier. Scarlet Realm, excuse me, one. Lost Charge Vulcan, which is Tower, which is why we're talking about Tower. We did do Mop Up Operation 4 earlier. Okay, let's do one more. And then we'll, we'll switch it over to RBR. So, silent after image, I'm assuming I just bring in white ID for both of those. Probably would have gotten the gene flow. Maybe. It's gonna cancel the job. I mean, as I said before, this is a pretty easy run. I like doing it on red ID. You can see the rewards for it are fantastic. So potentially that was like, I mean, if you manage to sell them, that was like the equivalency of maybe nine or 10 photon drops that Dango got in one shot. If people want them. That's that's a lot for one run. Oops. Wait for a four man. RBR stands for Wrangle Boost Road. So there's a weekly rotation of quests, uh, one per episode, that dependent on the number of players you have will boost the XP, drop rate, and rare rate. Three players is the minimum recommended, uh, but you could still do it with two. They wanted to make it so that it in encourages you to group up on things other than the endgame quests. And we'll go through each of them. So you'll see us at like all those other things. <laughs> Parasite Gene Flow each? Yeah, maybe. 
we'll, we'll see where it goes after this. Oops, I actually chose the right category and doubted myself for a second. So yeah, red ID making this one just makes it go pretty quick. So we'll probably entitle this mostly uh, retrieval quests. So yeah, you'll see people run it. Some quests are a lot better than others. The way they do it is that some quests are just not really efficient. So like, there's just not like a high enemy density, or it's like, it's good, but it's not as good as some other like powerhouse quests. So if people want to play it, it's just going to be worse overall than playing one of the like really possibly overdesigned slash too powerful quests. So they try to put in a set of weaker quests to boost them to about on par with those quests. But with the special event, it also raises your chance of getting Easter eggs. So there's an there's an enhanced reason you would potentially want to be doing RBR. You could still do RBR in lower difficulties. Some people do those for leveling because it does boost your XP. I don't remember if on lower difficulties it boosts more. Chat could probably correct me. Honestly, they were going back and forth so many times, I'm still remembering the old system a little bit. What level is your character, Guardian Angel, out of curiosity? For these Del Sabers. Rip Del Saber. Bye, Chaos Sorcerer. No, they're not fifty percent for no reason. Yeah, I think Bomberman we might do at some point. Oh, we'll let a little more time pass, because we did just listen to the Fantasy Star music. Like six months ago. I don't feel like restarting it yet. I know for a fact we got to zero, because I remember the the image specifically used for it. I feel like we've done some up Bomberman before. Hmm. A minimum Bomberman 64. What are these? Slice of Assassin, don't care about those. Uh, I'll go left. All the bull claws. <laughs> Just let me know, Chad, if you feel like I'm at it. Yeah. Because I remember, like, the panic music. As I was talking about before, when it, it originally popped up, and I know I had this conversation on stream before, I thought about if I wanted to go back, if I was ever going to do a 64 game, it might be Bomberman 64. But I was, I was very horrifically scarred by uh, Castlevania 64. I very much did not enjoy that game. Oh, crush bullet. I got excited. 68. That's pretty close. Getting controlled by these Del Savers game, please. Del Savers left arm. Sure, I'll take it. So I went from the set. Oh, luck material. Damn, where's that at? I'm never gonna find it. I know it's either Hellcleave or with Lilith. Yeah, I have no idea. I'd have to look at the minimap. You pick it up for me. Random power material from somewhere as well. But not where I'm fighting, sadly. We're done here. I guess I could go the long way. 
guess we could check the bottom path first to make sure we kill these enemies here. Yeah, what I thought. Unless that's the luck material over there. Oh. <laughs> they were annihilated mid-fight. I'm like, no, no, they're not yet. They're getting there. I want to check to see what that material is on the other side. Yeah, 68 shouldn't be too bad. If you group up with people, it's not too bad. You went mid-portal, maybe. Oh, it's just an evade material. The ultimate bait. That, that's a big frowny face moment. <laughs> the, worst, the worst material to pick up. Oof. It's actually sad. I let the luck material go. I don't feel like it's worth my four minutes of life to go find. I will double check to see if we cleared everything down here though. Uh, somebody's clearing this room currently. That's fair. Box check. Yeah, I'll probably exit. It's somewhere on the left side for sure. I just don't know where specifically. There's a whole room down there I haven't even seen yet. Guess I'll double check. I'm assuming when the thing died, that's where the power material is. When we got the enemies are annihilated. Is it not next to Lilith right now? Mm, kind of. I don't know where it was though. It's either on the upper side or bottom side of this area. What's the point of that room? Take some of these. I guess I'll go on a magical journey. Does anything chat wanted to add before we do this? Yeah, it's a pretty quick quest. Picking up items, maybe not so much, but, uh... Dry fluid. Oh, there's the power material. I had a feeling that was the power material, because of just the timing of it. So it's... Oh, it's like way down there. Holy, what a journey. <laughs> I was like, it, I wasn't even seeing it at first. It literally is all the way down to the south. That sucks. I'll do it for chat. I'll go pick it up. No, nope, we're already there. We're committing to the wall. I don't even know where the portal is relative to me anyway. Let's go this way. Happy little walk. Plus I can check the Masetta drops. See if I missed anything fun. Maybe I'll pick up another 980. Get some point. I'll take those. Ooh, there we go. So sad. JK, I'm just teasing chat. I'm gonna take this exit. I don't feel like telepiping. Cause then I have to go buy them later. I just don't feel like do. I don't feel like telepiping out. I'll save them for my other runs. Big stretch. So anyway, chat. I guess we'll switch over to RBR. Tentatively, I guess I'll bring in a force or something. Let's give a little sign off to YouTube for now for this little mini section. Let's chat about how things went. We got deep hearts. Mission accomplished. I'll read what Guardian Angel says for the sake of the video. For pink ID, force stuff drops. What class would you say is these? I'm getting those items. Uh, pink ID is good for force. Most of their drops are in episode 4. Episode 4 is really good, clear. They don't have anything really worth farming in episode 1, sadly. And episode 2 is not bad uh, with getting Excalibur, for example. And they do okay at that area of Excalibur. The sadly, Ranger, sadly, the answer is Ranger does almost everything well. But if you're talking about 4 specifically, yeah. 
Yeah, I just made a pink ranger to deal with uh, episode two specifically, but uh, I still have fun with Fomoral in episode two. I think she's okay there. But anyway, with that, we're gonna say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did, I guess watch to this point in the video or the bond. Thank you for watching, and I guess we'll be back with RBR in just a moment.